The Dallas Comedy Festival is back for a 10th year, and this is, uh, Amanda, you, you actually started this, and so t this morning we're going to give a little preview of what this festival is all about. Uh, so we have uh, Christy Wallace, Heather McKinley, uh, McKinney, and Amanda Austin. So this is a festival, you were explaining it to me, and it sounds more like a conference, but it's not a conference, because conferences <laughs> are boring. Right, well conferences can be educational and fun, but this, this is This sounds like a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, yeah. so if you're thinking this is like a conference, it's more of a party conference, it's also <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> okay, right. and, and there are stages there, I guess, where, where comedians Correct. will perform, and, and tell me about this, that if you're a budding comedian, you're interested in it, maybe you want to make it your career, you could go here and, and learn a lot. You can, actually, in the idea that you would learn some something at a conference with different panels and workshops. It's the same thing here with the festival. You can learn more about comedy by taking workshops. You can find out more by uh, seeing any of the industry panels that we have. And then also you can watch it because one of the best ways to get better at anything is to watch those who are already just crushing it. So uh, that's what we've got, five days of people crushing comedy. And speaking of which, and you have done this. You went to this uh, festival and, and, and maybe started your career. Is that kind of how you got started? Yeah, definitely. I, I performed last year at the comedy festival. I performed for a couple years before moving back home to Dallas and then I found Dallas Comedy House met Christy and uh, I've been performing there solidly for about three years now okay so I imagine you learn a lot at, at, a, at a place like this where you've got your you know you've got several stages you've got people just so, sort of walking in mm -hmm. what what do you learn as a comedian oh definitely I mean stage presence obviously different types of comedy I primarily do improv but I also love to go watch stand-up and sketch shows Amanda brings in phenomenal workshop teachers from Los Angeles New York Chicago so I've taken musical improv sketch writing things like that from people who have won Emmys for this kind of stuff so it's been a really great experience to watch it and then also get in the classroom and learn okay so so for 10 years this festival has been going on I'll ask you Chrissy tell me what it's done for your career well I've been lucky enough to be around since the very beginning of Dallas Comedy House and the Dallas Comedy Festival it has been amazing um, as far as my career we recently started a podcast together about a year ago called Sinisterhood, and that has really taken off. We've been lucky enough to see a lot of success with that. We're going to have two shows at the Dallas Comedy Festival. One of them is sold out, but the other one on Thursday, tickets are still available, and it's going to be a ton of fun. And it's kind of changed the tra trajectory of our comedy journey, and it's been something that we're really excited about. All right, so in the spirit of the workshops, I guess, that will be a part of this festival, what, what kind of advice would you give a, a new, young, up-and-coming comedian? Comedian. Don't ask permission. I would say just do whatever you're going to do like that. Just go, for it. go for it. Just go for it. Absolutely. I think everyone thinks they have to wait for the right time, but a lot of times the right time is now or was already has passed. So I say just get out and go for it and make what you want. And the people, the, don't wait for the market to dictate what you need to do. Just do what you're going to do and a market will find you, I think. Do you kind of get a sense maybe when you're at something like this where what you're doing isn't working and so you tend to maybe change what you're doing, change your approach. I think, well, that's with anything in comedy, but also just the spirit of improvisation is being willing to change. So a lot of improv is not just coming up with a joke on the spot, but it's being present, being willing to change and make moves here and on a bigger scale with your career. If something doesn't seem to be working, well, let's try it this way or let's try it this way. And I think you know, part of us all having an improv background, it creates uh, this flexibility that you're not always used to when you're uh, in a different kind of work environment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, and you've got comedians uh, that, like Ray Romano or Jerry Seinfeld that started out, you know, kind of where you guys are and then went on to, you know, do shows and, and be huge or whatever. So what, has the industry changed or, or is it maybe yeah. similar to the way it was when they started? I, th I think the industry is changing because mm -hmm. people can get their comedy in so many different ways. It used to be that when you would go just to a theater and you would see live comedy or maybe you would see it in a you know a 30 minute sitcom. Yeah. But people can create their comedy in so many different ways and they can consume their comedy. So I think we're going to continue to see a lot of changes in the way that people experience comedy. Of course, we'd love for them to come and see live comedy, which is great. There's also other ways to, to be able to really find you know that market that you're talking about all right so tell people when the festival is sure so uh, the festival is march 26th through 30th so okay. it is next week and it is five nights of comedy shows podcast panels and parties and workshops and all of the ticket information is at dallascomedyfestival.com and you can find all different kinds of uh, ways to hop in there whether you want to do one show or buy an all-access badge there is something for all comedy fans all right very good ladies yeah. thank you so much for joining us yeah. appreciate it and we also have more information on that festival on our website, fox4news.com.